All right, what is going on? This is RPG, um, and I'm here wearing my coaching hat today, um, Regal Fitness style. I'm here in Anaheim, California with my client and friend, Santiago Almazan, and tomorrow he has a big test ahead of himself that he's been preparing for in the form of the Masters USA. Um, this is his second time competing in this show. I believe the first time was a few years ago, and um, I believe he finished first in his class, and he missed out um, getting beaten out by a heavyweight at that time. So over the last few weeks, I've been working with Santi. He's been training really, really hard, and he looks good. So what we're going to do today is let you guys in behind the scenes on what I do as a coach when it comes down to crunch time. So right now, I'm in a separate hotel room, but I'm attached to Santi's room. And every two or three hours, I go in, I take a look at his physique, we go over some different things that he can ingest as far as his nutrition that can help make his body pop. Uh, most of you affectionately know this as peak week preparations. So that's my job as a coach is to make those determining, um, those last minute finishing touches on water intake, protein, carbs, which carbs, how much fat, things like that, and then continue to go over posing. Um, the day before the show, he's not training, so the most physical activity that he's going to have today is in the form of posing, which is critical with the guard, which is very critical with regards to putting those little last minute nutrients where they need to go. So we got Sergio, Sergio behind the camera. He's going to follow me. We're going to go next door, take a look at Santi, and get some cool behind the state behind the scenes footage of him as he gets ready for the big show tomorrow. Stay tuned. Ready? Okay. Okay. Is that enough space right there? Yeah. Okay. So, one of the cat and mouse games that you always play when you're in these hotels is chasing good lighting. Um, earlier, it was pretty easy because natural lighting is always pretty good, but the sun is going down now. So, we're going to have Santi stand under this dome light here and see what's going on so he's been dropping water a little bit more frequently now so what i want to see is more of a drier consistently more harder look every time we go through these posing sessions okay Turn the lever. come forward okay go back go back okay let's go abs are on you're on crunch it crunch it good sit back more Flare my push, push. There you go. Good. Big up top. Mm-hmm. Back to the legs and put it all together. Big up top. Flex the legs. Quarter turn to the right. Everything is stomach. Everything is stomach. The whole time. Quarter turn to the right. Mm-hmm. Lock it in. Open. Blow it out in the lower back. <coughs> Quarter turn to the right. Everything is stomach. Mm -hmm. Quarter turn to the right. Don't let the air out. Keep it tight. Front double bicep. Squeeze hard. Sit on the legs, back, lean back, lean back. Upper body, lean back, there you go. Bring the biceps back, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Front last spread. Keep your stomach tight, don't do it, there you go. Mm -hmm. Big chest, big chest. Mm -hmm. Flex the legs more, sit on them, sit back on them, there you go. Five. Four, three, two, head up, one, side chest. Mm-hmm, lock it in, real tight, big chest, squeeze it. Good. Yes, right there. Head up, lean back, chest right there, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, face the rear, get your wind, get your wind, rear double bicep, 
Lock it in. Lock the legs in. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Lower back and squeeze. Blow it out. Push those elbows forward. Lean back. Boom. Lift up that right side a little. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Rear leg spread. Mm-hmm. Roll forward just a little. Lift up your traps. Yes! That's what I want. Think about that. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Side tricep. Lock it in. Lock it in the stomach. Blow it out hard. Now twist and blow it out. Hold it. Make it hurt. Five, four, three. Open your shoulder. Roll it back. There you go. Five, four, three, two. Good. Abdominals and thighs. Composure. Composure. Don't let it out. There you go. Blow it out now. Go in front. Legs in front. Lock it in. Blow it out again. Short breath in and short breath out. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Most muscular. Crab. Go with the crab, please. Mm -hmm. Lift up chest. I want you to bend down more and then come up and bring your chest up. Like that. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now go to the other one. Pull your delts back and chest forward. Stuff in air out. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. So aside from practicing and getting those uh, last minute details and posing, making sure he builds these good habits. The other function of posing throughout this last day is it helps him to get that last bit of water out. Again, he's not training today, there's no more cardio, so the only thing that's gonna help him dry out manually is, is posing. You wanna squeeze, you wanna squeeze, you wanna squeeze, and it's gonna help his body pop a little bit. Big, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. Good. Quarter turn to the right. Mm -hmm. Lock the leg out. Lock it out. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just three. Mm -hmm. Open up a little bit more. Go forward. With, open up. There you go. Squeeze the chest. Good. Front double bicep. Mm -hmm. Lock the legs in and land it. Boom. Legs, legs, legs. Mm -hmm. Sit back, push the toes forward. Push the toes forward. A little bit. Lean back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, front lat spread. Boom. Blow it out. I want to try something different with this one. Instead of your fist like this, I want it to be sideways. Try that. Your fists are like this. I want to be like this. Yeah. I don't want to be like this. Try that. But I can't grab myself. Just try it. Let me see what you look like. Like this here. Boom. Mm -mm. Don't, don't bend the wrist. Squeeze. 
reset. We can get more, even higher. Okay. I'm trying to focus on this more than mm -hmm. I know. I just, I just want to see what it looks like. We'll get that together. <sighs> Biceps and chest. Good. That's it. That's it, Santi. That's what I want right there. That went from being a mediocre to a winning pose. Just yeah. Quick. Yeah. Okay. Side chest. Let's dial this one in now. Mm -hmm. Shove that toe towards the door. Put the pressure towards the door. There you go. Mm -hmm. Good. Take this back. Give this to the crowd. Squeeze it. And this up and into the rib cage. Boom. Yes. That's a side job. Good. Face the rib. Good. You stay hunched over to the very end. Okay. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Grab it. Don't come forward. Now go. All at once. Traps up. Good. Mm-hmm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Side tricep. Let's see what we can do with this. Same thing with the toe. Take it to that angle. Blow it all out now. Twist. Blow it out one more time. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Abdominals and thighs. Mm -hmm. One toe in front, in front, in front. Land it. Quick breath and back out. Good. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Most muscular. Come on. Stay tight. Which one? Crap. Give me one foot in front of the other. <coughs> Same action as the abdominal and thigh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get horizontal and then come up. Good. Lock it in harder. Harder. Bend the wrist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Stomach locked in. Go to the second one. Stand up. Blow it out. Bring it down. Chest. Bring your chest forward like a pullover. Bring it down. Good. Abs. Good. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Spread. Dig those thumbs in there. Lift the traps up. And lift back. Lean back. Lift them up and lean back at the same time. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Side tricep. Mm -hmm. Blow it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Abdominals and thighs. One foot right in front of the other. Lock it out. Blow it out. Go. Short breath. And out again. Hold it. More air out. Go. And from there, more. Don't take it in anywhere. There you go. Five, four. You got to hold it now. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Most muscular. Keep it together. 
Legs in front of the other. Good. Come from underneath. Bend the wrist. Open up. Open up. Mm -hmm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's see that front last spread one more time, gentlemen. Come on. Sit on it. Lock it in hard. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. See you guys tonight. Okay. All right. That was a real round. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've been kind of slowly amping things up with Santi because um, peak week is all about landing the plane. Um, obviously, um, he's not building any more muscle, you know, this week or overnight. So, again, posing is about fine-tuning things and getting him used to finding his cues. When he hears a pose, I want him to go through the things that he needs to go through mentally to land that pose. Everybody has those different cues. Some guys, is, I gotta control my stomach. Some guys, it's gonna be feet, um, blow out, blowing out the air from the lower back, things of that nature. Um, right now, we've noticed a couple things we can get more out of. Like his dominant pose is a rear lat spread, but we don't want to rest on our laurels, right? Just because it's good doesn't mean it can't be better. So one of the things I'm having him do is to create more of a 3D appearance. So instead of everything just being flat across the back, I'm having him lift, having him lift his traps up and push back towards the judges. It's going to give him a lot more pop for that position. And then in the front lat spread, I'm having him dig really, really hard into his, into his uh, rib area because the more tension you can create here, that's going to translate to cross striations in the chest. It's going to make your front deltoid pop more, and it's also going to give you an anchor to be able to flex your bicep. So that's just a cue. That pretty much is a cue for everyone. When you do a front lat spread, you want to be nice and tucked in real tight. If you come in here and you're kind of loose, you're not going to have enough tension to really squeeze hard and make those muscles pop. Okay, you got to keep in mind you're in the gym all the time. And you have weights, you got cables, you got machines. All of those things are designed to create tension. When you're posing, you got to use leverage. You got to use your own body. And that's when it gets tricky because everybody's different. So as Santi and I were talking earlier, sometimes what he feels is not what it looks like. Yeah. So sometimes when you pose, posing in a situation where it feels uncomfortable actually looks right, um, such as sitting sitting on your glutes a little bit like actually sitting on your glutes a little bit like a duck actually opens up your quads especially the upper quads that's something i learned a long time ago so when you do that and you put a little bit of pressure on your toes those quads and those feathers start popping a little bit but anyway i'm rambling i don't know if we're going to have sergio for the next round but um thank you guys for tuning in for this little behind the scenes look at contest prep um the big show is tomorrow I'm very proud of Santi's work. I'm happy with, with his package. Um, he's been nothing but a model client uh, the last few months, man. And, you know, obviously I'm here to see him through the end. Um, yeah, so we're going to give it our all tomorrow. And um, I expect a really, really good placing and uh, bring it on home tomorrow. So, what's up, guys? Um, so night before the big show, um, shit, I learned things tonight that, you know, I've been stepping on stage for, for 10 years and still learning. That's all about the tweaks and the posing, just like Ron said. Um, I, I feel like I look funny, but when you actually look at the pose through the judge's eyes, it does look a lot better. So just the adjustment that Ron helped me with, uh, I think he's gonna make a big, Big change tomorrow, my physique when I pose on stage. And um, as far as my package I'm bringing, it's the uh, biggest, tightest I've been, thanks to Ron, you know. Um, and then just thanks to my wife and kids that have been, you know, supporting me this whole time. It's hard when you have a family at home and this is a selfish sport. And every minute, every second it counts, especially these last few days. But uh, thanks, guys. We'll see what happens tomorrow. 
Cool.